Good evening, folks, and welcome back. We're back at the training center for episode three here at the 2012 evaluation camp. Tonight, we have a huge night, a lot of stuff going on. Uh, day off yesterday, some guys are uh, wa walking around town. We got uh, fishing, golfing, all kinds of uh, good stuff to get into. Uh, and then later on the night, we got a volleyball match. Uh, you won't want to miss that. Stick around. Uh, but first, we're going to send it to Cole in the training room. Hi, Hockey World, and welcome back with your host, the witty yet charming Cole Bardro. And it might not look like it from here, but we're here in the Olympic training cold tub in the Olympic training room of the Olympic Training Center. And boy, do we have a treat for you. But if you don't believe me, I'm going to dive down and show you the thermometer itself. Hold on one sec. Well, folks, as you can see, we're near a 50 degrees Fahrenheit. For all those viewers outside the United States, that's 7 degrees Celsius. Wow, that's pretty nippy. Well, yesterday we had an off day, and I know you guys want to hear a lot about me, but unfortunately we have to talk to these two youngsters, Thomas DePauli and Ryan Hartman. Thanks for joining me, by the way. But uh, these two yesterday during an off day hit the riverbed, and we're after the pickerel and rock bass of Lake Placid, New York. So uh, what do you guys have to say about your experience yesterday? Oh, it was, it was fun. We went down to the little creek, and we got the lines wet, just jigged a little bit, and had some fun. Oh, that was going to be my next question for you. Uh, were you guys using Canadian night crawlers, uh, crawfish, or jigs? I mean, I'm not really sure familiar with it. Uh, we use jigs and uh, American night crawlers. Oh. Yeah, excuse me. So uh, the big question, I know you guys are all antsy to hear that out there, is uh, who was the winner? Who caught the most? Ryan Hartman was. How many did you get? Uh, three, two rainbow trout and a bass. Wow, rainbow trout. Cook that up later for dinner. Well, folks, uh, I'm going to thank you two again for joining us, and that's uh, we're done here. Hello, hockey fans, and welcome back. We're back here at the Olympic Training Center Lounge. Uh, I'm lucky enough to be joined by good friends uh, Vincent Trocek and Reed Boucher. Uh, obviously, uh, guys, the day off yesterday, uh, a lot of activities going on, a lot of fun stuff. I know personally I uh, was lucky enough to go golfing uh, with my parents in town. So uh, a couple questions for you. Uh, what, what were you able to do on your day off? Well, a few of the guys, me and Reed specifically, and a few of the other guys got to go uh, tour downtown in Lake Placid. Uh, went to dinner at a place called the Dancing Bears, uh, ate in the upstairs lounge and had a great view of a lake and <laughs> some mountains. Oh, that sounds beautiful. The lake, I know uh, I was downtown uh, a couple days ago. Lake is uh, very beautiful. Yeah, absolutely. Great, great views. Yeah, great. How was the food? Fantastic food. Um, actually, I think it was Cole who had a bad steak, but everybody else had pretty good food. Okay, and, and for the value, what, how much did it run you? Oh, it was pretty good. Pretty good. And how about you, Reed? Uh, I went putt putting, and we visited the USA Hockey Store. Okay, and uh, did you make uh, any purchases at the store there? Uh, yeah, I bought this cool snapback. Oh, right. Uh, kind of off topic uh, for the fans at home. Who, who are you drafted by, Reed? Uh, the New Jersey Devils. Oh, right, right. Okay, uh, folks, uh, obviously, uh, as we promised earlier, uh, a lot of analysis from uh, the, uh, the day off there. So uh, this is just a, a couple, a uh, lot more to come tonight. So stick around. Hi, folks. Cole Bardreau here again, joined here with my exuberant co-host, Blake Pedela. We're joined here at the Olympic Training Volleyball Court inside the Olympic Training Center. As you can see, we're in the midst of battle here. This is game two of a three-game series. Fortunately for myself, I took home the victory. I'm on the good squad. Uh, Blake, what did it say about the game so far? Uh, not so uh, fortunate for me. Uh, my team uh, came out with a loss, but... Uh, uh, I thought my performance personally was pretty good, so uh, I'm happy about that. Right, your team didn't have very many kills, so that's going to hurt you in the long run, right? Right, yeah. To uh, be successful here, you got to have a lot of a lot of kills, and uh, your service game's got to be solid, and uh, uh, we weren't very good with that uh, in game one. Absolutely. Well, uh, we, need to get, we need to get back there, help our teams out, so uh, we're out. <laughs> 